Hi everyone. I just wanted to come on today and say hello. I haven't really done a face-to-face -face YouTube video in a while actually because I've been doing grocery hauls and stuff like that. So I just wanted to come on today and say hi to everybody. I wanted to do a review on this. It's the, the Mineral Wear Cushion Talc Free All-in-One ABC Cushion Foundation from Physician's Formula. Now, I thought the packaging was really cute. I've seen a lot of people rave about this stuff. This is what it looks like when you open it up. This little thing opens up and then you have this like little spongy thing here and it's wet when you push on it. I put this on the other day and to me, it just felt greasy. I let it sit on my face to see what it would look like, and it just made my face feel oily. And I thought, no, I, I'm not gonna like this. Even on the fingers, it has like an oily slip. I wanted to like this because I like the concept of, you know, just being able to open it up and have your foundation and everything all in one little thing. But then I thought, you know, I don't know if I like this. I think I'm going to bring it back. I hate bringing things back. I, I really don't like it. But you know, when you pay good money for something and you read all the reviews and they're all good and blah, 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 then you bring it home and you try it on and you think, I just threw away like eight bucks of my money. I think it was around eight. And I thought, you know, I could buy a nice little foundation or a mineral foundation for that same price. And I thought, no, this is going to go back this time. One thing that I have loved is this True Blend Blush by CoverGirl. This stuff, this is what it looks like. It's like a marbleized, kind of reminds me of um, some of the more expensive blushes. And that's what it looks like on. And it's got like a little sheen to it. And there's the color, if you can even see it. I'm really liking this. For the price point, I thought it was a really good deal. And I got these scissors for cutting my hair. And I bought them at Walmart. You can get them over in the scissors section. And let me see what the name of them is. They're by Conair. They're very sharp, but they have like a little serrated edge to them, even though they're sharp. So you can really get a good cut if you point cut your hair. I trimmed the back of mine today and with these, they did a beautiful job. And you don't get that blunt cut that sticks out. So I'm loving those. And let's see. Oh, this is the new nail polish that I was talking about yesterday in Charged Up Cherry by OPI. This is what it looks like on. And I did my two accent nails in this. But I love this color. It's so pretty on. Next up, I wanted to show you what else I'm loving. This Dove Advanced Care. I really love this stuff. This is the 48-hour antiperspirant, Nutrium Moisture. So it doesn't make the skin dry, but it does keep you dry, and I love the smell of it. This one here, I don't know, it's got a little pink pearl on the front of it, and it's by Dove. Another thing that I'm liking is the Big Sexy Hair. To me, it's almost like a, uh, this one's the one called Get Layered. I put it on, like when I tease my hair, you know, I tease it, then spray it, and then it gives it that little lift in the back. And another one that I really like is this Schwarzkopf, and this is called the Stylus Ultime Crystal Shine and Hold laminating hairspray and it gives my hair like a glossy look when I put it on. I'll show you. It's got a nice fine mist. And it's called Crystal Shine and Hold. Love this stuff. It really it gives your hair like a nice shine. I had my hair done the day before yesterday and I noticed when I put this like on the blonde pieces, like look at this piece like right here. It's shiny, and again, it's by Schwarzkopf, and it's the Crystal Shine and Hold. So if you're looking for a new hairspray, and it smells nice too, and it doesn't make your hair crunchy, which is what I like. Today I sprayed on some of this Jennifer Aniston spray, and I swear as soon as it dries, the scent goes away. But I do love the smell. I wish it would just stay with me longer, but it's a really nice springtime scent. 
if it would stay with you. Let's see, what else? This is the Maybelline Dream Velvet, and this is the Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. This is in number 15 Ivory. This is one that I love, and like I said, it's from Maybelline. I really love the way that it makes my skin feel. It makes my skin feel like I don't have makeup on, it's not heavy, and it's matte, which I love. I like to put my own sheen on my skin. I don't want my foundation putting it on because I hate that greasy look, especially in the summer when you're sweating, you know, when the weather's warm and you don't want your makeup melting off. This stuff stays on all day. It looked just as fresh at night as it did when I put it on. And I also got some of this L'Oreal Balm lipstick. Look at that color, guys. Talk about a shocking pink. I don't even know if it's coming out, the color that it is. And Anna Rosa, I think that you would be proud of me. She's always telling me to wear a brighter lipstick. Um, in case you're wondering who Anna Rosa is, it's Allegra 1952. She lives in Shanghai, and she's Italian. She's originally from Italy. And um, we're like two sisters that never met each other, that live far away from each other, but we, we've always like connected. It's like every level. But she keeps telling me to try a brighter lipstick. So Anna Rosa, this one's for you, and it's called, okay, be nice if I tell you the name of it, it's called Wild Lily. It's number 410, and it's by L'Oreal. Pop Balm. Very moisturizing. So let me just catch you up on what's been going on. Um, my daughter's supposed to come to Cape Cod next month because she's got to renew her driver's license. So I only talked to her for a couple of minutes the other day. I don't even know if she's bringing Alex with her. I assume she is. And i got to get all the details because I'm going to probably head to the Cape that week for a couple of nights and while I'm there I'm gonna see if I can make an appointment with my old dentist and once and for all get my teeth fixed back to the color that they were because when I had my teeth rebonded they used a dark color because it was the only color they had and I haven't liked it I haven't liked the shape of them the guy just didn't know what he was doing and he redid them for free but did an even worse job the second time so anyways so that's the new news with Nicole and the teeth and which reminds me I have to call and see if I can get an appointment for that week he might be booked up so much let's see what else um, we've been getting a lot of stuff done around the house my husband and I use our sunroom as kind of like a catch-all during the winter because we don't heat it out there we just keep the door shut so anything that we have in our house that has to go out in the other garage, the detached garage, sits out there until the driveway melts and we can store it out there. So the other day my husband cleaned all of the stuff that needs to go out there and so now all I have to do is vacuum out there, dust, and that room will be good to go and wash the windows. So he's been busy puttering around the house. I've been busy puttering around the house. To look at it, you wouldn't think I got a lot done, but I did. Um, I have been cleaning out closets and my linen closet in the master bathroom. I threw away a huge bag of stuff from in there. And I'll show you the bag right now. Look at the crap that I was saving. I mean, old makeup bags, um, like shampoo that I mean, it's still full, but I haven't used it in a couple of years, and I figure I'm not going to use it now. Some of this stuff is, like, almost empty. Curling irons, more curling irons, all kinds of stuff. Laura Geller bag. There's a big curling iron, actually. You know something? I shouldn't throw this away because this one's perfectly good. Maybe I'll save this. I shouldn't have gone in this bag. Oh, dear. I got this from HSN years ago. Giovanni uh, conditioner, tea tree treat. Oh, this has rosemary and eucalyptus. Look at that, full. Never, never even opened. I, you know, it's just like it's turning color. It's been there for so long. Uh, this stuff does have a shelf life. Borghese mud mask. This is full. This is 
like, you know, one of the things that I got from HSN years ago. Blackhead scrub, Cetaphil. It's full. I don't know why I bought it. I should just buy the little teeny trial samples instead of buying the full one. Tooth whitening kits, uh, the special of the day that came with makeup. Rollers. When I first started doing YouTube, I had longer hair and I went out and bought all this stuff. And you know what? It just takes up room. I mean, who walks around with rollers in it? So, it just goes to show you the stuff that we accumulate. I don't even want this stuff hanging around anymore. I really don't. So, say from coming out here, I saved a curling iron and a pump. So, anyways, I was inspired by Terry Gigi to do some cleaning. This bag weighs a ton. I mean, I couldn't even get it up the stairs. And this is all stuff that I had in there, hidden behind in the back of the closet. You know how when things get pushed to the back, you just forget they're there. So I threw away like straight irons, curling irons, old shampoos, uh, you saw on the bag. And that bag was so darn heavy, I had to have my husband drag it upstairs from our master bath because it was so heavy. I'm going to be more mindful from now on. Before I buy like shampoos and stuff, I'm going to make sure that every drop is gone before I start on another one because it's just such a waste of money. And you think of the hundreds of dollars that I personally waste each year on buying things on impulse that I see on YouTube and I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm going to find something that I really love and I'm going to stick to it. Same with all of this stuff here. I'm going to clean out this closet get rid of some of this nail polish. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. There must be somebody that can use it. I don't know. I usually give it all to my daughters. I might just call my friend Maureen down the street and just say, hey, here's a box of all kinds of stuff that I no longer use. It's all good stuff. I just can't use it all in time. So take what you want. And the rest, I, I don't know. But I have so many hair products, so many nail products, face products, lotions, mascaras, lipsticks galore. I'd be embarrassed to show you all the lipsticks I have. Somebody will use it, you know. All you have to do is, for most things, just spray a little alcohol on them and, and you're good to go. I want to get rid of these um, bookshelves in here. I'm thinking of this wall here. I do have a closet pole going across with a shelf on top. I'd like to take that down and do something on this wall, either just wallpaper this one wall and put a really pretty mirror here. Um, still considering getting that table, um, it's called the Mom, M-A-L-M. You know, the white with the drawer as a makeup table. I don't know. Everybody says they like this glass one that I'm using, which used to be a computer desk. It gets so dusty. The white one also has a glass top on it, but you can't see through it. So if there's dust on it, you wouldn't be able to see it as much as you can this one. 